From the day I was old enough to like boys, I was overwhelmed and sold on the idea of the perfect guy for me. Do you ever wonder if you were to leave it? This romantic view of the opposite sex is no one knows your name is just that a romanticized illusion. And ladies, let's be honest, sometimes that illusion is a downright scary nightmare. Now, am I saying all hope is lost? That there are no diamonds in the rough? As far as I'm concerned, the myth of the perfect mate, the so-called Mr. Right, is just that, a myth. Right up there with the Tooth Fairy, the Easter Bunny, and Bigfoot. Hey, girl. I've got a surprise for you. Ta-da! You're gonna look so hot in this. <laughs> a hot, slutty mess. Same difference. Lewis is gonna lose his mind. He's a jock, Norma. He doesn't have that much to lose. Okay, keep talking like that, and I'll go out with the man myself. How much do you even know about this guy? Well, since you asked, mm -hmm. my assistant sister's mother-in-law best friend says that he's a really good catch. And she should know. She says, Mama. Okay, that's it. No, no, Lisa, wait. No, hold on, wait, listen. You may think that it's okay for you to spend the rest of your life making love to this laptop, but as your best friend, I refuse to let that happen. Now go put this on and go get your man. You wasting time. Let's go. Come on. All right. <laughs> So anyway, I've been going back and forth all day long with my agent because the season's about to start and I don't have a team yet. Well, wait, I thought you said you were an NFL player. Oh, I am. You know, but I went free agent, you know, so it's going to be a rough year. Not being able to run drills and train with your team? Mm, that and bills. Well, haven't you saved all those millions for a rainy day? <laughs> <laughs> Millions? Yes. Girl, I wish I had millions. If I had millions, I'd be retired right now. So no millions? Hell no. Thousands? Well, yeah. Uh, I made about 300,000 hmm. you know, over five seasons. Uh, f forgive my ignorance, but isn't that a little low? Hell yeah. Well, the starters make a lot more than that. Even still, isn't that low for a second stringer? Nah, they make pretty good money, too. It's us on the practice squad that gets cheated. See, that's why I went free agent. Oh. <laughs> practice squad. Mm -hmm. Well, some people don't even make the team. Uh, we're ready to order. All right, now, are you sure? I can't interest you in some of our handcrafted gourmet desserts here. Mm, that sounds really good. Nah, my Maybe. good man, we are stuffed. Okay. But I will take that check, brother. Oh. We've got to get on to the best part of the evening. Most definitely. There mm. you go. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh, I feel like a pig after devouring that big steak and all you had was a salad. Yeah, it's all good. I guess that's how you stay so fit. Uh, one second, sweetheart. I'm trying to add this up correctly. They usually do the adding for you. As a whole, yes. As a whole. Yeah, I'm trying to add up everything that I ate and drank so I know what to pay. Well, what about what I ate and drank? I'm about to let you know that in just a second. Mm -hmm. I told you how sexy you are.
I'll be back, King Sumas. I'll be back. All right, ladies, please come in here, here. so we can get to ooh, making some bad decisions, baby. Mm -hmm. ah! No. What? No way. Hell no. Hell no what? I stopped drinking. <laughs> Stop drinking what? Alcohol, liqueur, you nappy-headed slave. Yeah, you little slave. See, that's not okay. Just and, and we done told you, if okay. you're going to say the slave thing, use it okay. in, in, in quick action. Yeah. Don't be late with it, man. You anyway, make it Don't yeah. be <laughs> Anyways, yo, this is the first time in three weeks that we've all been off work at the same time, man. Especially Mr. Popular over here. Yeah, that is true, man. Look, it's a lot of single ladies out there that need our services. Oh, I'm, I'm telling sorry. You, okay? Am I interrupting something? Okay. What, what, what? For real, Mike? Why? Why is Satan here, man? Satan? I got your Satan, Stuart Little. Hey, look, if you're talking about a man who got mad chicks, then yeah, you're talking about me. It ain't nothing little. Big. They hire you? Okay, up, oh, up, oh, hey. Okay. Hey, sit. Did you touch that knife? Yeah. Yeah, yeah listen. Yeah. Booty, chill, beast. This tail is as old as time, and I'm over it. Huh? I'm over it. He was just playing. I wasn't playing nothing, man. I don't even know why she here. I don't see why you didn't throw on a curve with the rest of the trash. Mm -hmm. Like you said. Mm -hmm. Is that what you tell your friends about us? No, no, no. You meant <clears throat> went over your head. The girl with the chest in the ass. The girl with the chest. So what, am ass. I just some booty call for you now? Well, in ancient Africa, booty call is the highest level, it's the the highest level of respect. It's true. Well, let's just be real, Maria. You just popped up, per usual. No respect there. Yeah, we don't get down like that. You got a lot of baggage. I'm Southwest. Your bags don't fly free here. Okay. You know what? Stay here and play with your little friends because I can do better than your ass anyways. Call me whenever you get your shit together and when you grow your ass up, okay? If you want me to call you, I got to get my iPhone out your car real quick. Hold up. Why you chasing? We don't chase. Out with the girl, in with the bottle. I'm talking Let's about. make these moves. Hey, you gotta look. Work on your slave shit. I am. I mean, you know, we it's more of a delivery. Great job. She yeah. Right yeah. Go. Yeah, go. Go. You guys play a great game. White man can't jump. Awesome. Ah, <laughs> white man. I'm West. Haters. Why? Why we gotta be all that shit? I mean, if I was, you know, if I could shoot. Listen, we, didn't even, look, we didn't even. We didn't even. Bitch, give him a drink because he, he needed. He needed. Please, get his boy a drink. No. Drink your sorrows. Man, quit playing, bro. man. Take this drink. The girl go and, and all that. Come on. You we got some pussy. This. You free. Come on, man. Let's go, baby. You sweating and shit. Think that means you got it in. I know. It. I know. Come Hell on, yeah. baby. Hell it's yeah. love. It's love in the air. Shit. I took that shit too fast, didn't I? Mm. <coughs> Okay, before you say anything, I just want to inform you that I'm on cloud nine right now. So, unless this is a life or death situation... This is all your fault. Louis the loser. I told you I didn't want to go on yet another one of your blind days, but did you listen to me? No. So what ends up happening? I end up going Dutch with the so-called football player who got his Super Bowl ring in the mail. Sweetie, I'm sorry, but I really got... Yeah, 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 I know, I know. His mother thinks he's a real catch. <laughs> Hello? Oh, right there. Uh, you nasty little wench. Did you just answer the phone while you were getting your... No, 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 no. I'm laying here with my legs back while Steven takes care of everything. <laughs> Wait a minute. Foot fetish, Steve? Yes, girl. He is giving me life right now. Oh, he miss Mama's toes very much. You know what? You have issues. No, girl. The only issue I have is being on the phone with you right now. Look, I gotta go. I will call you back, and I will plan something really extravagant for your birthday, okay? Mm -hmm. Norma. No, I gotta go, Lisa. No, I'm gonna call you back. Come Bye, on, Lisa. please. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Oh, yes. Oh, keep going. <laughs> Ooh. Mm hmm. Here you go. <laughs> it's not that I don't want there to be a perfect match out there for me, I just have to be honest about the reality. So it begs the question, are there actually any decent men left out there? Does Mr. Wright really exist? Seriously? Hi, I'm Frank Brinkley. Welcome to MyMrWright.com. Now, if you're even on this site, <laughs> you're looking for the seemingly unattainable Mr. Wright. You think? 
and you're convinced that he doesn't even exist. But I'm here to tell you, you're wrong. Here on MyMrRight.com, you can create the perfect guy, and we'll send him straight to your door. Please note that MyMrRight.com is not an escort service, and sexual favors are strictly prohibited. But ladies, isn't that the best way to find a great guy? Click right here, and you'll be one click away from Mr. Right. No? You don't like this one, do you? Jen says no. <laughs> I came this close to completing a profile. <laughs> Talk about desperate. You should have. <laughs> okay, I think maybe you're not getting enough oxygen to your brain right now. What? You said it's not an escort service. Why not? It's just for fun. Okay. So you have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I will. What, like, right now is not a good time. This Frank, baby, I just reeled in a big fish for you now. Frank. <laughs> this girl's profile suits you to a T. Does she? She paid with a black card, Mike. A black card. <laughs> this is huge. Now, Melissa's sending you over all the profile information right now with a few do's and don'ts for the day. Do's and don'ts? You know the usual. These ladies like to feel like they're on a real date. So, no talk of being a hired hand. And Mike, I need your best acting job on this one. You hear me? All right. Sounds easy enough. Hey, hey, hey. Don't dismiss me like that, dog. Because if you don't do this right, guess what? I I I'm going to kill Fontaine. Fontaine's your nephew, Frank. We don't, we don't know that. You know what I'm saying? That's what his, that's what his mama say. But don't, don't, don't have a death on your hand. All right. All right. Holla. Hello? Hello? MyMrRight.com. Frank speaking. Hey, mama. What? No, I'm not going to hook you up with Mike. Norma, will you at least tell me where we're going? I don't want to have a bad surprise on my birthday. Trust me. You'll love it. I should be at your door in three, two, one. You're funny. Funny. So what is love at first sight? Does it actually happen? Well, I think I can actually confirm that it exists. I wasn't a believer, but I think he changed that. Do you eat ice cream? Dude, who doesn't eat ice cream? I mean, have you ever seen anybody eat ice cream man? After a horrible date, maybe. Like, give me that damn cone. Give it to me now. This date. Sucks. It sucks. This thing give is me, horrible. Give me butter yeah. pecan. So when we get there, what are we going to say? I'm going to be like, hey, what are you going to say? Uh, give me butter pecan now. now. See? Because I'm pissed. Pissed. I just it's wasted what, my time. Wasted my time. It's an awful day. day. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yep. So, you know, I think because it was so horrible, mm -hmm. we deserve a mulligan. You know what a mulligan is? Yeah, I mean, you know. No, you know golf. OK, got you. I do, so. That's up to you. I'm in. You're in? Yeah. Okay. You can do anything. What you want to do? Do you cycle? Cycle? Yeah. Like cycle at the gym? Like a bike. Like a bike? <laughs> Girl, what are you talking They call me, I like Lance on but they call me Glance because quick glance, you miss me. Right by you. Come on. Yeah. Are you ready? You're you not ready for that. No, you need to work on the jokes. But yes, I'm ready. Let's go. Work on my jokes. Yes. <laughs> here. I was gonna go to your house, but then I remember you like to come here and do your little painting thing. Don't get all sensitive. Jeez. You don't know me at all, do you? 
This little painting thing is my passion, Maria. Babe, that's fine, but man cannot live on painting alone. You can't pay light bills and car notes with paintings. I'm sure my father can help you get a job at his office when you're ready for a change of scenery. Oh my God, Maria, thank you. Thank you so much. Like, I was, I was really, really hoping that your dad could hook me up. Are you kidding me? Apparently, you're not getting it. Me and you? We're from different planets. I don't even know. You're an alien. You're Look, like a... I understand how difficult it is to be a man these days. Always feel like you're not measuring up in the workforce, in life, in the bedroom. But I'm a patient, understanding, and forgiving woman. And I want to be here with you while you get through this. Why I get through what? I don't know. These feelings of inadequacy you're having or whatever it is you're going through that's making you treat me like trash on the curb. <laughs> Look, you don't have to explain it to me. No, I don't. I'm gonna I don't. Be here. I'm on. Because I'm actually not. Um, mm, this is gonna be awkward because this is that conversation where it's the you, not me. But we're done, okay? It's me, it's not you. Sorry. We should see other people. Is that what this is about here, Michael? Like, normally, whenever guys say we should see other people, it usually means they already are. Is that what this is about? You seeing other people? I mean, I don't know. I see. I just told you what it was. So you know, you I'm really, really sorry. Me too. It was terrible. About everything. Me too. I am so sorry. Except this. Take that for some motivation, you douchebag. There you go. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm so, I'm sorry. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. So, um, I, I've been meaning to ask you, uh, why, why'd you and your husband break up? Uh, just out of curiosity, I'm just curious. I just wanted to know, you know what I mean? What, mm. Well, he was this tall, sexy, hot Latino lover boy. He didn't want to be in a monogamous relationship, so. Oh, right, yeah. You got to get rid of them kind of guys, you know what I'm saying? They, they all over the place, you know? I'm, 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 I'm faithful. I'm a faithful guy. I'm just throwing that in there, you know what I'm saying? I'm a real faithful guy. <laughs> so uh, what did what, what you say you did for a living? Yeah. What do you do for a living? I mean, he was like an importer or something. Importer? I don't know. That's yeah. impressive, importer. He's an importer. That's nice. I heard he was he was pretty loaded. I heard that he, uh, he had some cake, did he? Was he pretty loaded? I'm just asking out of curiosity, of course. I just he he was okay, but he did he did thing? have some cake. What how, what what you get out the divorce settlement? You know what I'm saying? What you talk to me? What you get? I got none of your damn business dollars, and get your curious having ass up out of my house no, since. No, no, no. I didn't mean it like that, love. No, I didn't mean you it did like mean it like that because no. you asked me about my. We having point. a good time. Right. Let's just chill. No, you it. need to chill. Get your gold digging ass out right now. Gold digging? Yes. Ain't that the pot calling the kettle black? Gold digging? Crazy. Talking about some gold digging. I can... <laughs> Oh, no, you didn't. This is a $400 shirt. I just bought this shirt, girl. And, I gotta return this. And, I can't goodbye. even, oh, See you I can't even take care of a man like me. I'm glad I didn't put my name on your account. He was a perfect gentleman from beginning to end. <laughs> oh, he's smart and funny and sweet. He has a real job. And he's an artist. Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, where did you say you met him? Oh. I mean, I know people. I get around. True. <laughs> but why didn't you keep them for yourself? <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. Mm-mm-mm. Wait a minute. Did you? What? Oh, no, oh. hell no. You know I don't roll like that. Are you lying to me? No, we kissed. That's it. Mm-hmm. I told you he was the perfect gentleman, girl. This one's a keeper. OK. <laughs> Wait, Lisa, I mean, I'm sure that he's a good guy and everything, but you just met him. You already sound like you're in love. I didn't say I was in love, but he's kind of what I've been looking for. Look, I don't know when it was the last time I was this hopeful, so thank you. Come on, come on. I need you to pick up. Get on, man. MyMrRight.com. Frank speaking. Hi, this is Norma Jacob Hernandez. How are you? Ah, 
Ms. Norma Jenkins Hernandez. Look, your guy by the name, I think his name is uh, Michael or something, he really did my girl dirty last night. I mean, dirty to the point where she thinks she's in love. Oh, love is strictly against the policies here at MyMrRight.com. That's not the way we... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, look, this is exactly what you're gonna do. You're gonna book him for the next month or so until I figure out what I need to do. Uh, yeah, yeah, I hear that. You know, we can do that for the, for the next month. And I don't want him to mention a word of this to Lisa. Okay, I mean, you know, that could be our little secret. And I don't want him to even breathe my name. You got it? I, I ain't gonna tell Michael nothing, <laughs> okay? Perfect, well, I'll be in touch. You know what, Mrs. Jenkins Hernandez? See, this type of dialogue is what I'm talking about. When a man and a woman, you know what I mean, hear each other's voices, that could, hello? Hello? You know what it is? You know what time it is. Come on, man. Don't do that. That's what real, though, real talk now. We did that. Oh, we we definitely did that. Oh, you bought out. You did out. that. Good game. Right. Didn't know you yeah, had you that in you. Yep. Definitely yep. didn't yep. know. Yep. Did. But, uh, bye. Yeah. Two what? nights in a row? What are you talking about? Two nights in a row? Oh, yeah. What? She she's got sexy. bank or something? She's sexy. I don't know. I don't care. And she's got cakes. Hostess. How much cake? Ah, too much for you, but too sweet. I, I really don't get it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm the same blood as my uncle. Same blood. And he keep hooking me up with these old ugly booger woogers, man. On, I, I hate this, man. Y'all get all these exotic chicks look, looking good and look, freaky. Look, look, I don't know about all that. I don't even care about all that. I'm just saying. Her name is Lisa. So watch your mouth about when you're talking about her. Okay? Watch my mouth. Yeah, watch your mouth. Something's man, what happening, it? man. Something's happening. Man, I'm talking you... to my boys. This is why people don't talk to their boys. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all don't even understand that a part of no, the life. The reason why you don't talk to your boys is because we know the number one rule. Which is what? Never, Never fall in love with, with the, the customers. customers. That's the number one rule. Stupid. It's just like your part. You're <laughs> fucked up. I'm telling you, right? He really is. You sound yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. First of all, we're not prostitutes. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I ain't say nothing about love. I'm just saying something is happening. There is something happening. You wouldn't know that because your mama don't even like you. This is a business, man. Yeah. This girl gonna get her money's worth regardless of what you do, man. Yeah, Mike, at this point, man, you're just confusing fantasy world with the reality of the situation. You mean like yeah, you do exactly. every day? Like you confuse yourself with Justin Timberlake? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cry me a river, Seth. Uh, step up out of here, Ray Your mom cried a river. Your mom cried a river. Well, guess what, fellas? <laughs> yeah. I'd love to stay and talk with you boys. <laughs> and I don't care what you guys say. This is me, Eminem, right? Mike Martin, oh, yeah. huh? Tonight, I'm getting it in. You get it in? I'm getting it in tonight. You like yep. a beige coconut. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. I should be the new superhero bike movie. One man against all lives. Michael Martin is yeah. Delivery Man. Ha! <laughs> delivery it's been Man. Years huh? right now. Yeah. Looks like you need a delivery of like an extra large t shirt, <laughs> some shorts, and you definitely gotta lose those socks before you go. Can't leave the house in those, bro. Yeah, the socks. Definitely overkill. Wow. <sighs> you really feeling this girl, huh? Is it obvious? Huh? A little bit obvious, yeah. I guess we can't control who we love, huh? You think it's love? I don't know, do you? I don't know. I know what you need to do, man. Have you heard of the test? Stand up. <laughs> Have you I'm, taken it? <laughs> I'm gonna show you the test, okay? It's kind of all about personal space, right? And they're in all of mine. Yeah, so it's about being comfortable with personal space, so we're working on this right now. So what you wanna do is take both of her hands. All right, all right. Hold them very close, right? Okay. Then as slow as you can, with complete eye contact, take your hands, put them behind, yeah, you're good. Take yours, put them on her shoulder. You want to slide your right hand. I'm kind ticklish. Of, Seth. It's cool, it's cool. I'm ticklish. Be, just no. slide it all the way down the back. Cool. I'm ticklish. Back. You want to just take it in really close, I, just I'm like his eye contact. Just right here, right here, man, right here. Oh, I'm in. I already know what this looks like. It's the love test, man. Come, Come on. Here. Don't get weird. Don't be weird. It's the love test, no, 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 man. No, 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 you don't no, know about no, the test? No, no. What the fuck is going on? It's the test. Come on, No, and the test, the test, my ass. My boys, my dogs, I hate whatever they work with. Come on, you know. This bullshit. You want me to come join this shit, huh? Man. Huh? Nah, I gotta man. go, man. Smoke? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go. Woo! <laughs> what the fuck is that? He's got a little... This is nasty. He's got this a... This is real nasty shit. This is some nasty shit. 
Yeah. Neck and shit. Listen, Let's get away from this. Both of y'all. He has a he has a biker day, man. He's good. With who? He's got to be ready. No, that get boys, please. <laughs> are you good? Mike, are you good? You want to take a break? We can feed the ducks. So we you know, to stick in our cans, we got to take, take breaks. Fucked up Lance Armstrong. That's how he got <laughs> fucked up in the game. Let's go. You should. Let's go, no, let's go. You good? Yeah, go. All right, OK. Go. I'm moving so fast, you can't see me. I do. I'm a writer. I'm a novelist. <laughs> I have a book coming out called Coming Up Short <laughs> about a brother who almost made it. <laughs> OK, so you know how to joke. Of course. But I'm... I'm a masterful comedian. Is that right? Absolutely. Yeah. OK, so coming to the stage, uh -oh. let's give a warm applause to Mr. Michael Martin. Oh, I'm here. He's in it. Listen, <laughs> listen, we're going to jump right in tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to jump right in. So there was a monkey, a zebra, and a donkey. Uh -uh. They decided to, uh-uh. You can't uh-uh me. It's already bad. You didn't even give me a shot. I can tell it's already going to be right, bad. All right, all right, I got to know. Because I got a plethora of jokes. So <laughs> knock, knock. Oh, God, a knock, knock <laughs> joke. Really, that's your comeback? Knock, knock. Who's there? Me. Me who? Just me. I don't like that joke. What do you mean you don't like that joke? <laughs> what do you mean that that? You know you like that joke. It's all good. I hope I'm not the only one that had a good time tonight. It was amazing. Did I say good? I meant amazing. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. Amazing. I use a special filter to, um, filter. Mm. <laughs> All right, look, I haven't, I haven't stopped thinking about you since the first day we met. I know the feeling. Good, good, because you don't want to be flying solo on that mission. No. <laughs> I really think that something special is happening here. Agreed. put it over the fireplace, it, it was just, it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure she's very proud of you now. I'm sure she's smiling down on us as we speak. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm lying, like, like she lives in church. <laughs> oh, I can't even believe it, I fell <laughs> for that. <laughs> you did, you did. Maybe you can meet her sometime. That'd be nice. Is it really three in the morning? Yeah, yeah, it is. I should go. <laughs> Good trouble. Hi, Miss Bryant. How long does it take to fall in love? 
24 hours, 24 minutes, 19 seconds. Gentlemen, 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 let's get to work. All right, that's for you. No, actually, that's not for you. That's for you. And uh, check that out. That's going to be a good one for you. You're going to be all right. All right. Got some for you. <laughs> uh, first order of business. You ain't going to believe this. Can't wait. So I got a line on a brand new community of all female little people. Bomb, 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 bomb. Robin Thin, he's ready to go. Right? That's you. Let me tell you guys something. Little people equal big money, OK? Hey. So stay with me on this. Who's with me? OK. Next up, welcome our new guy, Chris, y'all. Chris? Yes. Chris? Oh, you snuck back there. Okay. Hey, show him the ropes. Hey, 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 hey. LLCC, huh? Ladies love Cool Chris. <laughs> LLCC. You just got a nickname. Cool Chris, y'all. Cool Chris. Cool Chris. No, I'll be seeing you at the food court at the mall. Yeah. Holler at the Mexicans. And, and note this, that Chris is in uh, Jimmy's old seat. Where's Jimmy? Yeah, I like That's Jimmy. my dude. Yeah, he was great Where's Jimmy at, though? Yeah, yeah love him. Guy. Jimmy's ass is fired. OK? Now, I don't know how many times I got to tell y'all this, but there's no sex with our clients. Gentlemen, you are the lady's fantasy. The minute you have sex with them, guess what? The fantasy is over. And if the fantasy is over, then guess what? Frank don't get no money. If Frank don't get no money, Frank gets nervous and upset. If Frank gets nervous and upset, somebody get killed. What about just a hand job while you're driving them on the date? Just no. No hand jobs, no fingering, no oral, no Benoit balls, none of that. OK? Hey, that one. What's that one? What's that? What's Benoit balls? That's, that's one of my things. But OK, uh, anyway, as I was saying, you guys are the dream. Women come to us to get their fantasy. And you got to be that. All right, gentlemen, that's all I got right now. Take those sheets and check your email. We got more bookings coming. If you don't, check your email. If you miss it, we're moving on to the next guy. Appreciate y'all. Mike, let me holler at you. What's up, man? <laughs> man, I hate, to, I hate to get like that. Hey, you got to sometimes you got to let them know. Put your foot down. That's why you're the top guy. I try to be, man. I don't know how you do. The voodoo that you do. Wait, go in your pocket. Ah! <laughs> Hit him with that mic. The new client that you just went out with? Yeah, yeah, which one? She just booked you for the rest of the month. Rest of the month? Rest of the month, babe. <sighs> Come on. Ah, man. So I don't got to date no more of these girls, right? Whoa. What, I mean, why would you? What do you Absolutely, mean? you got to date the other girls. I'm, I mean, we... I'm double duty. We providing a service, baby. We can't stop providing it. So yes, you got this young lady for the rest of the month, but you still service the other girls. You got me? I got you, man. You know what I'm saying? We gotta, we gotta make them happy, right? Gotta make hey, them happy. Hey, hey, Eminem, huh? Honey hey, Mike. Melts in your mouth. Not your hand. I see you, baby. Hey, yeah. hey tell Dolores that turkey chili was amazing. It's in my fridge right now. I don't know why. I'm not even into all that. Every time it, what's for, uh, why are you so happy? It's a little Bow Wow? Hey, that's a little Dion Sanders. Uh -huh. Fontaine. What's up, Bob? I, I need to see you, man. Shh. All right, because I can't even. Silence of your clients. Whatever, whatever. Silence ooh, ooh, of your clients. What up, Bob? You didn't give me no paper, baby. What happened? Why you didn't uh, give me no paper? I really don't get that. I was waiting. <laughs> like, I know you got something new for me today, baby. I know you got that up. Tell your nephew something, baby. Look, Fontaine, we're not family at work. We at work, man. I don't know how many times I got to tell you this. Uh, you my uncle. Same blood type, everything. What you what you mean? But we at work, and you got to be professional. I'm always professional, huh? But whatever you say, man, I got you. No uncle. Got all right, you. Wow. all right, all right, all right. Listen up. I got some more rough girls for you. Yeah, right there. Don't slide that under there. Hold your hand. You yeah. know what? I, I don't. You know what? I think I'm gonna uh, pass get, and get this to the, one of the new dudes, cause, whoo, yeah, I think I'm catching some. I think from the last girl, kit caught some, caught some bad. I've been, oh shit, uh, this shit. I don't know what this shit is. Uh, Come been, on, Fontaine, stop playing. They've been acting up on me like this. I, I can't even work this week, especially this shit. It kick in when I see shit like this. It kick in more. Oh boy, I can't do it, huh? That shit coming out my ass right now, huh? Would you? Would you? 
this, uh, uh, this is what uh, I'm uh, talking about, Fontaine. Not this week. Uh, not this week. Not this week. Not this. Get that to them. I can't. Uh, this... Look, Fontaine, it's your forte. Now, I know what's up. Uh, how the hell is this my forte, man? Stop, OK? Everybody has a role around here. Seth, what does he do? He's our white chocolate. Mike, he brings in the big fish. You, you're my wild card. Wild card. OK? Right. You, wild get, card. you get all of the, the hood rats. And all of them. The clinically insane. And, <laughs> and anybody that's swole, you lock that down. I do up. OK, so I know it's already been a really long day. Mm. And we still have that radio interview that you have to go to. But I did build in a two-hour window for you to have a break before we have to go to the Boys and Girls Club for you to read to the kids. You have to get ready for your published author's banquet. Oh, you have to Michelle, figure out what you're going to wear. Let's just put a pause in it. I just need two minutes for a peace and quiet. I get that way, too. I just have to learn how to turn my brain Michelle. off. You know, it just keeps going. And OK, peace and quiet. Mm. I can be, I can be quiet. I mean, I just, you know, I'm locking it up, throwing <clears> away the <throat> key. It's not like I don't have other things to do, right? Okay. Your phone's ringing, though. I have to answer it. Please. <laughs> hi, it's Miss Bryant's phone. How can I help you? Oh, hi, Norma. I'm sorry, Mrs. Jenkins Hernandez. Uh, no, she's actually no time to speak with anybody right now. We're going over her schedule for the day. I do, but. We have some things that we have to do today, so I'm sorry. She does not want to speak with anybody. Yes. Uh, but you really don't have to get that way because I'm only doing what she asked me to do, and I always have to have this conversation with you. Hold on. Hey, girl. I know, but she's just doing her job. Oh, sure, that sounds good. About an hour? Okay, Payano's in an hour. I'll see you there. Oh, and I have to tell you so much about you know who. <laughs> okay, I'll see you there. All right, bye. Okay, pencil and lunch I with. I got it. Pie on yos. Thank you, Miss Michelle. Well, what would you do without me keeping you on time? You're driving me crazy with your <laughs> schedule. <laughs> we have to go now because you have to get to that interview. All right, let's do it. I don't see nothing out here. I mean, I've been looking the whole time. I still ain't seen nothing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this booty. Look at that, look at that booty. Oh, yeah, oh. Oh, my God. OK, OK. Oh, my. Mm, mm -hmm. What you mean? You wouldn't know about no ass like that, boy. Sure as hell I do, man. You got just like that. Too, too much booty. Too, too much booty? Yeah. Too, too. Man, you white boys wouldn't even know how to put y'all, you know what, around that, boy. That's okay. hilarious, bro. You don't know about no cake. I'm going to be honest, though. He might be right. You know what I'm saying? We might exactly. over-exaggerate a little bit, you know, with too much tutu in the tutu. Uh, too oh, much tutu God. in the tutu. Uh, too much tutu in the tutu. This guy, this dude, he likes booty right. dudes. You know what a booty do is? No. The stomach stick out way out like the booty do. <laughs> Literally, he <laughs> likes pregnancy. That's what you want. I know how to pick booty. Because okay? you're a field slave. Whatever. You know I how to pick them, of course. You dang right. Speaking of slaves. Oh, yeah? Can you, <laughs> can you cover for me? I got a book in there. What? Come on. You know, well, you know well, me and Lisa, we've been. Spend all the time with her. You want to be free if she calls? You can go running right away. Hey, Lisa, I'm here. I'm here for you. You really think it's a good idea to be canceled on your bookings, man? I mean, what if she's not? What really... if she's the one? What if she's the one and you just put your mouth on my wife? What did oh, you yeah, say? That's, that's an asshole from ready to happen. Nah, ready to happen. hold up, hold up now. Wait a minute. What I'm hearing over here sound like Uncle Frank Golden Boy is missing out on clients? What for a little old girl with a black card? How do you know she got a black card? Huh? You know me, I'm, we tight. We, we cool. You Whatever, know, you Seth, you down? You know? Yeah, I got you, bro. Thank you. Not a word to Frank. Man, what y'all want, bro? I'm going to tell you like this. Don't tell me what I need to tell Five people. $5. Man, you can't bribe me for no... That's a deal. deal. That's a deal. I got you on that. Let me check this out. But on the real, though, before I count this, you really doing a dangerous thing right here, Mike. Yeah, really I think dangerous. Yeah, might be right, bro. Yep. Are you not serious? I mean, I know you think you're catching feelings for this girl, but uh, she might be playing you, man. <sighs> Taking up all your time one minute, next minute she just drops you. Listen. By then, you won't have any clients to go back to. Listen, I got this, OK? You Let think me you do got me. this? I got this. It's all under control. All under control. All right? Huh? Now, check this out. All right. That's for you. Let, Merry me, see what you're Let me see what you're passing what you up here. Right there? Merry Christmas. Let me see that. Too. Damn, you passing up this one? Hey, you know. I'm surprised, bro. Ain't no fun if the homies can't have that. Let me see that. Let me see that. Yeah, look, Mike, look, man, if you need help with your clients, you, you know I got your back, I don't man. Know, I, I, this, I this is not your type. You know your type. Precious. Now, if she calls, I'm going to send her your way. She likes her biscuits Mike. and her chicken. A tutu Mike. booty. You got to feed her. Mike, I got to feed her. Mike, got to feed her. I kept that between us. Don't, hey, don't say that in front you gotta of the You got to feed her. Got to feed her. Keep her out the heat, though. Cold. Keep her out the heat. Keep her Tell out the heat. Tell my uncle about what you're doing. 
I got a couple midgets too, I man. Care. I know you like I dick height shit. Oh, yeah. hey, Michelle, yeah, I know. She's just a little overzealous. <laughs> a little? <laughs> but you know what? She gets the job done, so it's probably good for you. She does. I don't know what I would do without her. I would be late to everything. <laughs> By the way, why do you insist on continuing to use your ex-husband's last name? I mean, don't you think Jenkins Hernandez sounds a little funny? Of course I do, but I know it pisses him off. Right, right. So. Mm. Refresh my memory. Why did you marry this guy in the first place? And how did you manage to make it last for all of two months? <laughs> I married him because he made me laugh. He just didn't know how to keep it in his pants. But that's what I get from marrying a Mexican immigrant with money, right? What you got was 20 million, three fabulous cars, and a big, beautiful house. Wait a minute. I thought you said he was Peruvian. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so listen. So there's another guy who I want you to meet. He Ladies is enjoy dessert. Thank you. Thank you. He is Muy Caliente. <sighs> Sorry. Off the market. Since when? Hello? Since Michael. Yeah, but this new guy, he's great. He is perfect for you. He is absolutely gorgeous. Well, Michael is great and perfect for me and absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, but why put all your eggs in one basket? You are the one who hooked me up with Michael, right? <laughs> yes, but I didn't expect you to go all guy guy over the guy just after one date. Two dates and a four-hour phone conversation. <gasps> Lisa, come on. Come on, Norma. You come on. I mean... Unlike some people, I don't have to sample every flavor in the yoga shop. I find the one that I like, and I go with it. What? You hit a home run. I thought you'd be patting yourself on the back right about now. Wait. Do you know something about Michael? I don't. He's not married, is he? Lisa, no, but he's not the kind is of guy... Is he gay? That... Bi? No. Okay. So then, he is perfect for me. And thanks to you, I found my Mr. Right. And I'm gonna go for it. I cry every time. At the same but the point. movie just pisses me off in general because you said, promise me you won't let go. Promise me you won't let go. She had the dude in the water <laughs> and she let go. I'm I like, know. these and chicks ain't like loyal. That. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, that was nasty. They ain't. I cry all the time. I'll never let go. <laughs> that was a good line. That was a good line. So, you know, I am that. I am a romance yeah. type of guy. You know what I mean? Uh, <clears throat> how you doing, Betty? Uh, can I get two tickets for He's Mine, Not Yours? Sure, that'll be 1350 1350 cool. Do I know you? Uh, Have you seen, you seen this guy before? I think he was here last week with a white girl. I was here last week with a white, white girl. Yeah, got another guy, got another guy. I get that all the time. I look like every man. I'm more of a, it's a recognizable face. Are you gonna pay? You have to pay me before uh, I give you the tickets. Right here, here oh. you go. Oh. There you go. <clears throat> so thanks for hating on me, brother. Uh, appreciate that. Thank appreciate you. that. Nice to meet mm -hmm. you for the first time. Mm -hmm. Both of you guys. Mm -hmm. Haters. Both of you guys. It's cool. <laughs> She said, since my first two novels did so well regionally, they want to expand their distribution to a broader market and do a national release, a publicity campaign, the whole nine, and that comes with a very nice advance. I kept my cool in front of her, of course, but Michelle and I got outside and damn near lost our minds. I'm so excited. 
I'm sorry for you, Doc. Are you sure? Yeah. You seem distracted. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. You, you, you really deserve it. Well, <clears throat> can I, uh, can I just be straightforward? Yeah, of course. There's something happening here, right? We, we both feel like, like something special is happening here, right? I think so, don't, don't you? Yeah, yes. No question. I just, you know, found myself in that place where you just, you're like, what are we doing? What does it all mean? How, where do we go from here, you know? Like, I, I'm sure we both had our share of relationships and I've been hurt and hurt people. I understand all that. I, I just, I, I, I want to go through things with you. I want to laugh. I want to do normal things. Bake. I want to do a kid's book together. Obviously, I'm not the writer, but I would... And I know that's rushing way ahead, which is why I'm asking you this, because since we met, I haven't dated anybody. I haven't even thought about it. I actually think I fell in love with you as soon as I laid eyes on you. And it, it was instant. I knew right then that was my... That you were my soulmate. And that we'd been here before. I usually say all the right things and never mean them. And I'm sure I'm saying all the wrong things, but... For the first time, all the wrong things are the truth. So... I don't know what to do. I can't eat, can't sleep, can't... I... You gotta have to stop me, because... I'm rambling, I'm, it's just been driving me crazy. I'm gonna need you to say something. Please. Wow. Wow. I was out of line. I should no, are you serious? Oh. Huh? Did you mean it, what you, what you just said? All of it, Lisa. Michael, don't play with me. I swear on everything that is sacred. on two dates, sent some little troll in his place. And he canceled on me three times. Sent some white boy in his place. Oh, sorry, not that I don't do white men. But sending one to my big mama's wedding, uh-uh. I don't want to have to take my business somewhere else. Mm, well, I heard that. Wait, 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 ladies, ladies, ladies. Let's not jump to conclusions now. Y'all know Frankie is always taking care of you. Both of you. Haven't I? Haven't I? Yes, until lately. So, get this. I have a new guy. This guy's better than Michael ever was. I don't want some second-rate Michael. 
cool. I want the real thing. And if I don't, I want all my money back, every penny. Mm -hmm, me too. Let me tell y'all something. What Frank is not gonna do is get no damn refunds, okay? You ain't getting a refund. You ain't getting a damn refund. Oh, you gonna give me my money back. You, let me tell you something. Me tell you Laverne you and Shirley. Money back. Can you gonna give oh, me my whoa, money back? Whoa, hold on now. Wait a second now. You ain't gotta... The violence is not called for, okay? So, you know, since you are willing to take steps beyond normality, we'll give you a refund, mm -hmm. okay? Thank you. You, on the other hand, ma'am, will not get anything. So why are we meeting here? Because I got people watching me, listening. And I saw all type of ears. When you frank, people be all over you. Matter of fact, you wearing a wire. No, I'm not wearing a wire. Look like you got an underwire. So because of your girl, I've been losing clients left and right all day. You don't know what it's like for these, bitch, for these ladies to be calling and, and dropping by the office looking for Michael. Where Michael at? Michael this, Michael that. Not good for business. Okay, look, I know that you're losing money and everything like that, and I apologize, but... I, I'm losing boatloads of money. Michael is my top draw. But ever since your girl Lisa came into his life and got his nose wide open, he all of a sudden no one take no client. Look, you know what, as well as I do, these type of relationships don't even last. True, and that's exactly what I tried to tell Lisa. What if... What if they split up? What? I mean, what if they split up? Okay, if they were to break up, then Lisa would be heartbroken, and then she would blame me. Then what? What am I supposed to do? Do, do, do Frank look like he give a damn about what you're supposed to do? Frank don't care. Frank care about Michael. Because when Michael's feeling good, the ladies is feeling good. When Michael ain't feeling good, guess what? Frank lose money. When Frank lose money, everybody unhappy, because Frank wilds out. So it looks like you and I both have a vested interest into seeing this little love charade come to an end. We do. So what do you suggest? I have a plan. But I need you. You in? I'm in. OK, OK. You in, I'm in. You know, that's a good thing. You know, Maybe we can get in. You know what I mean? You know what? Just text me later, OK? Like what time, you think? You got a good looking mouth, though, I tell you that. <laughs> Mouth on ease. My oh, whoa, okay. My mouth on ease. All right. That thing, no, she fine. God damn. Hey, girl. I'm good. I'm glad you called. Listen, you want to grab a coffee? I uh, I need to talk to you. Okay. See you in a sec. <sighs> My man. What's going on, sir? I see you, girl. <laughs> Money Mike. Hey. Hey, man. Going? <laughs> My man. Hey, hey, hey. Is uh Sarah pregnant? Something. She gained a little bit of weight. She's getting swole, right? I'm not sending over no more Rusty's pizza. No more Rusty's pizza. It's your fault. I know. I it's really know. your fault. She, she still got a cute face. You know, anyway, I kind of like a little thick like that. Though. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, yeah, man, what's going on, man? You know what? I was I was thinking the other day that all the ladies love Money Mike. Oh, don't hurt me. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> don't hurt me. <laughs> they love it. They love, it. love it. They love all it. All the ladies, man, except, except one. Which one? Oh, man, what was that? Uh, oh, Elisa Bryant. Yeah. Elisa Bryant? Yeah. Oh, Lisa Bryant. You remember the? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, like yeah. the whole month thingy, that the whole yeah. Yeah. What? Uh, yeah. What she said. I know this is gonna be crazy because I it, I couldn't even wrap my mind around when she hit me with this. So she seemed to think. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She think you're falling in love with her, <laughs> right? <laughs> really? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Crazy, dude. Nuts. That's what I tried to tell her. I'm like, that's not the way we get down. At all. 
Especially not Money Mike. Not the cornerstone of MyMrRight.com. What? But, you know, I mean, she said that and she felt like, you know, you were getting a little too serious. <laughs> she even said that she, you know, she did kind of initiate it. I guess she wanted to pretend that it was real. <laughs> you know, but, you know. Wow. I mean... It's crazy, right? It, it ain't you. It's her. It's her. She trying to infiltrate your world. Because I know one thing about Money Mike. Money Mike is not going to let feelings come between business. Right? Never. She even, like, canceled, like, the rest of the month. Just a second. Yeah, I'm good. You know. She said, she said it like that? Like, I'm good? I, I, did, I was talking to her on the phone, but it looked like her hands went up. Like, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Anyway. Anyway, man. So, if, if I was you, uh, they can't never stop cold turkey. So she's probably going to still try to hit you up, you know, still try to reach out. Man, I, I suggest you just just push back, man. You know what I'm saying? See that? You got to push back. Create some space. See, because what these women do, they try to infiltrate your space. See, you, you like the juggernaut. You understand me? You got all that, and they try to break inside, but the juggernaut don't allow that. You money Mike, baby. Money Mike. Money Mike. See what I'm saying? <laughs> huh? That's what I'm talking about. She gonna try to call you though. Don't even, you know what I'm saying? You got you gotta sell by all that. See how I'm, see that? I hear you, baby. Come on, man. All right. See you, boy. All right. All right. Ha <laughs> ha. My man, money Mike. Money Mike. Oh, what? <laughs> to you, my friend who will soon be New York Times best-selling author. Well, thank you, my dear. <laughs> but it's a little early for that, don't you think? Mm -mm. Not at all. They don't release a book nationally unless they think it's bound for success. Trust me. Have I steered you wrong yet? No. <laughs> You've been spot on, actually. Thank you. Especially with Michael. Girl, my life is so blessed right now to have the best friend I could ask for a major book release in the man of my dreams. And to think I came this close to hiring a date. Child, bro. <laughs> well, now we have to find your Mr. Wright. Lisa, I need to talk to you about Michael. Yes, let's talk about him. Honey, I know you're crazy about the guy. I am. I am. Michael isn't the man you think he is. My friend, the one who introduced me to him, told me that if you're looking for something long-term, Michael isn't your guy. Okay, Norma, I know you think I'm taking things too fast with Michael, but... Lisa, just listen, please. Michael is going to hurt you. He has this track record of leading women on, and right when things get serious, he moves on. My friend knows. Well, how does she know? She... Her sister dated him. Okay, so if he's so awful, why did she have you set me up with oh, come him? Come on, Lisa, we've been through this. It was supposed to be a one-time thing. Just a date for your birthday. Nobody expected you to fall for the guy. I don't believe you. Fine. Fine. Then don't believe me. But just be careful, okay? The last thing I want is to see you get hurt. Right. It's just a matter of time before he starts to distance himself from you, Lisa. Don't say I didn't warn you. You know what, Norma? Maybe it's time you found a man that you can be happy with so you can stop trying to ruin other people's happiness. Stupid. I'm out of here. number that is no longer in service. Please check the number and try your call again. Thank you.
don't get it, Norma. Two weeks and not a word. I tried to tell you. I know, I know. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. I'm very sorry I reacted the way I did. Sorry. That's what guys do. They all play games. <laughs> I really thought this was it. He is obviously a jerk. Thank you, girl. All right. Oh, no, no. We got you covered. Whatever you need. SmartMrWright.com. <laughs> no, he'll be there and on time. All right. Gonna be great. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's up, Mike? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. What's going on? Customers complaining again or what? No, 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 man. I just want to see you, man. How are you? Good. Never better. Mike. Yeah. I know you, okay? I'm good, friend. Look. I know this business can mess with your head sometimes, man. Especially, especially when the puppet master becomes the puppet. But the sooner you can get back in the game, the better you'll be. You know what I mean? Mm. You feel me? Yeah, I feel you. So you ready to get back to work? Ready to go, baby. <laughs> Melts in your mouth. Not in your hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> you want it? I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I got it. I got the perfect booking for you. Check that out. Uh -huh. <laughs> See that? Right? Okay. I'm gonna shoot that to your email. Show sure, a good time, man. And you have some fun. My man. Hey, man. Yeah. Good to have you back. On your A game. It's good to be back. I'm glad I was finally able to tie you down for drinks, Miss Big Time Author. Well, what can I say? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me grab a pen because I need your autograph. Okay, I'm a very <laughs> important person, but that is a bit much. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Oh. And you look absolutely amazing. Thank you. I'm a big girl, you know. I always bounce back. Hey, that's my girl. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Lisa. Lisa, Michael's here with a woman. I know, I see him. Just stay calm, okay? I'm trying. Do you want to get out of here? Yes, so where, where's the waiter? I will get him, just, are you okay? No, hurry, please. Two of those. Yeah? Lisa, what are you doing? You know what? Just go back to your little whack-ass date and leave Lisa alone, okay? She's tired of your bullshit. That's right. I don't need to be bothered with no more tired men. Tired men? What are you talking about? I treated you like a queen. Yeah, I think you tried to get in her face. You know what? Congratulations. Mission accomplished. Boy, bye. Boy, bye. Yeah, you exactly bye. Exactly what she said. No, it's a lot. You can go with Rihanna. You know what? I thought what we had was serious, but I guess I was wrong. I hope one day you feel the same way I feel right now. I hope you know what it is to be manipulated into falling in love what and then being thrown out like the trash. What are you talking about? So you threw me away like the trash. Lisa, come on, let's and go. And why is she talking? No, 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 I want to hear this. Please tell me how I threw you out, Michael. To Don't me. touch me. I was head over heels in love correction. I am head over heels in love with you. I'm in love with Lisa Bryant. Yeah. You're everything I needed and more. So how are we real. here? Why are we here? Because this is what you wanted. What the hell are huh? you talking you about? You did this, not me. Lisa, let's just go. Come on, let's just go. You called Frank, asked him to shut it down, said it was getting too Frank? serious. Right? Right or wrong? Who oh, is Frank? Oh, who's Frank? Frank Brinkley. MyMrWright.com, huh? Ring any bells? What is he talking you about? You play with, I'll tell you what I'm talking about. You go online, pull out the little black card, huh? Yeah, got the black card, huh? And then you like, bop, 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 book your man, huh? Great time, great time. And when you're over it, you throw him to the curb like the trash. Well, guess what? I'm out. Wait a minute, black I'm card? I'm done. Wait, wait. 
You work for MyMrWright.com? Oh. Norma, I didn't complete a profile. What are you talking about, Norma? Huh? Norma! Lisa, I just wanted to give you one night with the man of your dreams. It was not supposed to go this far. So you go on a site for an escort service? It's not an escort service. And you complete a profile without my knowledge. Lisa, I'm sorry, but it wasn't supposed to be this way. You were supposed to be my sister. Right now. We are both lied to. I get it. I get it. So, let's start over. Let's start over right now. Okay. I'm Michael Martin. I'm an artist. Let's go get some ice cream. I hate ice cream. What are you doing here? Let's get my address. Frank. <sighs> Look, as hard as it is for me to be here, it's not even about me. It's not about you. It's about Lisa. So, can I come in or we're we just gonna stand here? do paint, huh? I really do paint. What's up? Why are you here? Do you really feel the way you said at the restaurant? You've got to be kidding me. You came all the way down here to ask me. Don't if play I... with me. Do you love Lisa like you said you do? I love her like the real kind, Norma. You happy? I believe you. Well, I guess all is right with the world. So now what? Huh? Let me have a plan. I share it. I don't have one now. So you're just saying you got a plan to come up with a plan. That doesn't mean no good. I miss her. Makes two of us. You know what? Has she seen these? Mm-mm. I see you. <laughs> I see you.
you're still mad at me, but I have to give this one last shot. If you say no this time, I promise I won't ever bother you again. But will you meet me at the Shroud Gallery tomorrow? There's a new exhibit there and I know you'll love it. That'll be like old times. Let's say tomorrow around two o'clock. If you don't come, then I'll know where our friendship stands. Well, I pray I see you there. All right. Love you, sis. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to present to you the artist, Mr. Samuel Michael Martin. Go to go in here. Get out of here. Wow, I'm not um not really good at these moments, but I I, I just want to first thank Norma. Thank you guys for coming. Um, there's a lot of faces that I see out here right now that directly had a hand in every stroke of the work that's up here right now. Um, the work you see on display right now is, um, <clears throat> it was inspired by, uh, by a um, special woman who, uh, I couldn't figure out how to tell her how I really felt, so I, I just put it on the canvas. A wise man once said, to me, you can't paint what you don't know. I know her. Go. Go get her. Go. You sure? Yes, go. Run. That's not. Out of here. Get it. Go ahead, dog. Lisa Bright, keep running. I'm going to keep chasing you. You inspired all of that. Every color, every stroke. These are the time we shared together changed my life. Every stroke, every kiss, every touch. It's all in those paintings. I never lied to you. I've loved you since the first day we met and I love you even more now. <sighs> Look, I know we met in the most unusual circumstances, right? But isn't there a chance, just a small chance, that we might have been blessed with some random act of serendipity? I'm here. I'm right here, right now. Give me a chance. Give me a chance to show you. Give me a chance to show up. Two scoops. Two scoops of what? Ice cream. Ah! Oh. You're lactose intolerant, though. Don't be frightened. That's <laughs> not me. I'll That's get you some ice cream. Yeah, let's I'm gonna go. get you one scoop, and I'm gonna be mad when I get it. Why? Because this is a complete waste of time. Give me that damn cone. <laughs> now. Now. <laughs> I want the cone now. Today, my blog is about living in my own romance novel. Ladies, I'm here to tell you that Mr. Wright does exist. I found mine, and if you open your heart to new possibilities, you might just find yours too.